Hi friends, I am um, probably going to be dropping two vi videos um, today when you see this because I have one from about a week ago um, that I hadn't had a chance to post from a different Dollar Tree. Um, and then I have a recent one that I just got this weekend. Um, I will apologize in advance. Me and my family have been going through it with the illnesses like nonstop. So um, most recently I have a illness we had last time I talked to you guys, um, a sinus infection. My little guy has double ear infection that won't go away. So we actually just got back from the um, hospital today, but I wanted to make sure I got this on before all the stuff is gone. Um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff that mine didn't necessarily have, um, that other people are posting that they've found some really good things. So I was hoping to find some of those things for, um, Easter, but I have yet to find them, but I did find some good stuff. And then I got some of my regular things. So, um, pardon my room. I'm actually in my little office area and, um, my paparazzi jewelry stuff. Um, but right now it's kind of a little bit of a storage mess as I go through everything. So let's get started um i was so excited i finally found the bunny wreaths that i had been looking for for a long time um if you remember um i told um, you guys so as i was saying i found the bunny wreaths that i've been looking for finally i found three of the wreath forms um i got a couple because i'm planning on making these into wreaths for um, some of my family um i haven't been able to visit my family a lot right now since we have all been battling illnesses um i haven't wanted to spread it plus um a lot of my family is um, compromised immune system, so we're just trying to kind of keep the germs away. Um, but I did want to make them something, so I got these, um, and I'm going to go ahead and make them bunny wreaths. And I did make the one that I had shown you guys. Oh, watch out, watch out. My dogs are really curious about what's going on. Um, so this is one of the ones that I made. Um, super simple. I just use that nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Um, this is actually from Dollar Tree as well, and I make my bows with zip ties. So I just do a double layer, and then I have a little zip tie there to tighten it. Um, makes them really flexible. You can make really fluffy ones and then you wrap the rope here and then this is actually just scrap of paper and I just picked a color I thought would match. So, um, that's a really simple one. This is what I have on my door, but I'm going to make some, maybe some bright ones with yellows and blues cause I love that, um, for theirs. And then do like maybe a gingham, like yellow or blue here, um, with the ribbon. So I'll show you guys what those ones look like if you are interested, but yeah, this took me, I, I was sick last week, but I wanted to do something. I was feeling like like antsy um and I think I made it in like less than 20 minutes 30 minutes it was so fun so yeah um okay so on with my haul this was a pretty big trip um there was some food items I wanted to get um and then some holiday stuff to finish up my Easter shopping um I found these finally the big ones so I got four of them uh, you guys have probably seen these everybody has different ideas with them um, I love plants. I have a lot of house plants and I just love them. So I was thinking what I was going to do is potentially do a, um, a succulent tier um, and just have a lot of my succulents have, um, I propagated into having little babies. So I might do that um, and maybe see if I can find some creeping ones so that they kind of hang over. Um, or, or maybe I'll do, I actually got four of them, so maybe I'll do two and two. Um, or I might do, um, or I want to do an herb garden as well. So um, we'll see what I decide to do. I do have a handful of herbs outside um, that re -come, come back every year. Um, but I think I want to do some of the ones that are a little more finicky that need to be grown inside so that I have fresh herbs inside because I love having fresh herbs. And then a few things I got. So no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to hop in. Um, I got these. Me and my husband are starting to do... Um, kind of like a, a ketogenic or anti-inflammatory um, meal plan regimen that we're going to start doing um, to try to help with, well, number one, I want to help with some of my gut health because I've been taking antibiotics. And um, with that, you know, there goes the, the good the good gut biome. <laughs> um, and then also just because um, I have a lot of inflammation. And so, um, yeah, keto has been great for that. So I did get just the two packs. This is the one of like the salad, the big open is BPA free. Um, and then I'm not too sad if anything happens to them because it was, you know, two for a buck 25. And then I got this one that has the separators so I can do like my berries and my nuts and things like that. Or if I wanted to do like a chicken with like a side of broccoli or whatever, I have that here too. So I just picked up a pack of each of them. So there's two in each pack. Um, I started to gather, um, Easter stuff. 
Um, and I've been getting some really good deals on like Easter toys and stuff from different places. Um, I belong to a group on Amazon where they have deals. So I have been using those deals, which have been nice to get really awesome deals. Um, also found some really good, um, clearance items at Walgreens that were really cool. So, um, for some of the little Easter like toys, um, I try to avoid too many too much candy, but I always end up getting way too much candy anyways. Anyways, I got this cute little blue truck pail for my little, little, little guy. My older boys actually have a pail that has their names on them in vinyl. So, um, I haven't got one for River, my youngest yet, but so I got that little bucket for him. He is now the age where he actually really likes band-aids <laughs> and Dollar Tree always has fun band-aids. Um, so I got him these cute Space Jams ones, Space Jams, and then, um, Scooby-Doo, um, that I'm going to put in his Easter basket. <laughs> and then I got, um, you know, just typical things that you'll find, but the Russell Stover, um, chocolate bunnies, they are solid milk chocolate. These I have not seen there before. Um, they are, um, cereal flavored, so Fruity Pebbles which I have a son who likes white chocolate a lot. And then um, the Rice Krispies, Rice Krispie Treat. So I thought those were cool. I got a couple of those. Um, I think I got two of each of those so I could decide what to do. Um, and then I always just get their, their egg coloring kits. Um, they're inexpensive. I usually use vinegar with them to help dye the eggs better. Um, so I did get them there. I used to try to get the fancy like sparkly ones and stuff and I just didn't want to spend the money. Um, these work just as good and then my son loves that they have the stickers. So he loves Spider-Man and he loves Paw Patrol. So I got those there. And then a few other candy items. These aren't anything that are fantastic but just figure I'll show you guys what mine has. Maybe yours has the same. They always have these. I'm sure you guys all know. They always have these for Christmas um, for all the holidays. So I always get the chocolate covered marshmallows and then the um, chocolate covered chocolate marshmallows. And it's always perfect for us because we're a family of five. So let's grab those. Um, and then I always keep an eye on the packaging for these. Um, usually they're smaller bags, but they still end up being a lot cheaper than getting them at like the big box stores. Um, but you want to keep an eye because like for example, Let's see. So look at the difference in bag size. So you'd immediately think that this one's like a lot more and it is more, but there were some other ones that came in bigger bags and just that the ounceage is what I looked at because um, I ended up putting a handful of them back because these ones are 4.5 and these ones were the smallest bag. So it looks like it's less, but it's actually more because it was 4.5. Some of them were only three ounces and this one is five ounces. So I got two of each of those. Um, but yeah, this was the smallest bag that they had, but it actually had a lot more ounceage than a lot of the others. So keep an eye on that. I thought these were really cute for my older kids. They're blow pops, um, little bite size, and they are resealable, so they can actually seal the bag up. They're just the little, um, instead of the blow pop suckers, they're the candies with the um, gum inside. And then they had four packs of these. These are the little mini Reese's eggs that are so good. So I got two of those. Um, because these are a lot more expensive at the store, at the big box store. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right. Um, a few more Easter things. <laughs> I just thought this was really fun, and I know my son will have fun with it. It just has these little hard candies in it, um, which he may or may not even like. But it has the egg that spins, and then you've got your little Easter bunny there. So you push the button. So I got, I got um, one of those for each of them. I did get these for my youngest, the dots, the chewy dots. And then for my older ones, I got them like the, the warhead, if I can find them here. Like the warhead bunnies, because they're teenagers, they like that stuff. Um, I did get some junior mint eggs. And then I got the sour patch. So. And sometimes these can be less expensive at some of the bigger stores if they have them um, discounted, but I just got them while I was there. I 
got the cotton candy. My kids love the cotton candy in the little container so they can save it. Um, so I got one of those for each of them as well. And then these are the cutest. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to use them for, but look how big that is. It's a cute little burlap um, bunny ba uh, carrot bag. I've actually never seen these, so I don't know if they've had them before, but you just tighten them here and it can be a cute little treat bag. So I might actually use this to put like their candy in inside their basket. So it's just kind of all together. There's a two pack. And then I got these two because they were so cute. And I have gotten these um, in years past, but I think the decoration on the ears was different. So this one's cute little polka dots with the bunny and then they just drawstring and there's two per pack. I think I had some that had like a chevron print before, but I might be mistaken. Um, this year though, I found the cute rainbow. How freaking cute are those? And then those polka dots and these are two pack. Um, and then I got a few little decor items, nothing major. Um, I loved this one. They also had a brown bunny that said happy Easter. Um, but I like this white one. It has like the white wood with the galvanized metal. And then it says hippity hoppity. I figured that's really cute. And I think that will look really cute with my with my wreath. Kind of goes with the same kind of color scheme. So I got that one. A few more Easter items I got. I already showed you I got a couple of these. I got these little candy filled carrots. They're really cute, just simple, but they're cute. They're chocolate covered candies, like um, like M and M type. And then this is adorable, and I just love it. And so I had to get it. Look how big it is. Totally reminds me of something you'd find at like any of the crafting stores, like Hobby Lobby, um, or even like at the craft fairs that people make. Um, but for buck twenty five, it's all felt be so cute like a tiered tray or just like as a decoration you know if you have a I have a lazy a big lazy Susan on my table that I like to decorate like similar to a tiered tray but it's not layered um and so this would be so cute on that with some of the Easter stuff I have and then oh and then there was a lot of really cute things that I just didn't have a purpose for so I didn't want to buy them um, I'm probably going to do a short video. I'm um, just like a short and pop it up with the, I took pictures of them though, because if you guys are crafters and, um, you would die. These are so cute. There's some gingham bunnies that are like, um, fabric that are little and there's like multiple of them, um, in different colors. I think there was blue, pink, and, um, uh, maybe yellow, purple. I'll have to, I'll post the pictures. Um, and then there was, there was just, there was some cute stuff. So, um, I will post those because there are awesome things. These I think I might use. So that's why I got these, but they're moss bunnies. And so last year I created a cute little decoration. I might have to see if I can find it. And it called for moss bunnies. Um, they were bigger in size and then it was like on a little wood slab. It was so cute. Um, and it, I used the, one of the, um, I need to think of what they're called, the little globes. Um, and it had like bunny bait in it. It was so cute. Um, and we had to buy these and we bought them at Hobby Lobby and they were pretty pricey. So um, we get three in this pack. So we probably could have done a miniature version with these. They didn't have these last year that I remember though, or that I ever found. So those are super cute. They look really nice too. And then some more candy, duplicate candy. Um, oh, and then these. So these are some that I did buy. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I think I can figure it out. But look how cute these are. And it's like a it's like a board, like a chipboard, like they're thick. Um, and they are, it's a garland. Um, they're eggs and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Um, six, yeah, six colors. So it's got black gingham, like a teal, a pink, a uh, green, like a seafoam green, um, a purple and uh, orange. You can see that. Um, okay, open it. Yeah, look how cute those are. So really cute colors. So um, ultimately these actually, we had made um, crafts with needing pieces like this. Um, so you could take it apart and definitely do that. They're, they're thick and sturdy. Um, you could even do those, you know how they have the squares with the 
beaded hangers. Um, you could, you know, paint that in, leave the wood raw and then paint it white and then put this in the center and do like a, like three of them across is like a really cute decor. Um, or you can just hang this from, you know, your TV stand or whatever is just a cute decor, but I love that. So that was a really good deal. Um, so of course in seeing that, um, I found these ones and they're, looks like they're the same colors, but they have this cute little bun, um, little bum, little, um, cotton tail on those. These would actually be really cute in the frame and be decorated. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for my friends who love, um, the gnomes, these are adorable and they've got the glitter. And this one looks like there's three colors. So there's the green, there's the pink, and there's the blue, and then it's repeated. So there's still six of them. But how cute is that? Super, super cute. Okay. And then that's all I think I have for like the holiday stuff. I might find more while we're going through it here. Um, but a few things that I found um, that I picked up. I got these. These are the Be Pure Hydrating Lipstick Infused with Rose Oil. Um, and this is a really vibrant red color that I wanted to give a try. But look how cute that is. I think they had this at Christmas time. Um, but really cute. And then I got this one with the leopard print and gold. So cute. And that's just clear. Just for moisturizing for my lips. So I um, plan on using this because my lips are getting dry with all these sicknesses. Um, I did pick up some hair cutting scissors in case you didn't know they do have hair cutting scissors. Um, they're not necessarily like amazing, but they help to like trim up some areas and I actually use them to trim my dogs. I have two Yorkies that get long hair and they get like the, the staining around their eyes and stuff. Um, and so I just like to use that for their hair to help trim them up. So I grabbed those cause I, I, um, lost my last pair actually. I didn't break them. I lost them. And then I'm interested in giving this a try. Um, it's the Ioni brand, um, and it's lash glue and liner, so it's two in one. So it's actually black, and it has the black liner, um, but it also will work as a lash glue. So when I do do my lashes, which my last video or my video that I'll be posting um, shows that I actually do get ready and do use makeup once in a while. <laughs> um, but let's open this and see it. Um, Ah, uh, yes, it's the kind I like, too. So I'm very interested in seeing how well this works. I will keep you guys updated. But it has that felt tip, and I love that felt tip. So it's Everlasting Lash Glue Liner 2-in-1. I will definitely be giving this a try soon and letting you guys know, but it looks like if that, this product works, that is amazing. Um, and then I got these... Um, I actually like to talk my husband into doing masks with me sometimes. Um, <laughs> so I thought this would be so fun. He may or may not use, choose to do them with me. Um, but these are the hot and cold iPads and they are so cute. Look at this one's lemons. You just put them in the refrigerator. Um, and this one's watermelons to help reduce like puffiness or, you know, which I have a lot going on right now. So. And then these nails, I was dying over. They're so cute. Um, it's just that really pretty blue color, if you can see that. I don't know if I can get it to focus, but yeah. So, it's a long color, nails ready to wear. Um, they did also have the nail glue this time, so I was able to get some nail glue, which I've been needing, so I can actually try them and report back to you guys on those. Um, and then, let's see what else do I have here. And then I found these um, chapped ice and these flavored ones, um, just their chapped ice double lip balms. I like to put these um, in my kids' baskets, usually, especially around this time because this is the time when their lips start to get really chapped. Um, I live in Utah and we just got 32 inches of snow in less than 24 hours, craziest storm ever. Um, and so we're all feeling all dry and chapped. So um, those will be definitely useful to them. And then my son has recently started daycare. Um, previously he was at an, um, with a friend doing an in-home daycare situation. Um, but now he's in a daycare daycare, which is why all of this illness has been spreading like it has. So 
I have talked to you guys about their socks before. They're toddler socks. These are really thick, nice socks. They are the Juncture um, Kids Half Cushion. Three pairs for $1.25, which is way less, even than you can find them on Amazon. Um, I used to buy like the big packs on Amazon, like 25 pairs for like... I don't know, like $50 or something like that, or it might be less than that. But anyways, they end up being like a dollar a pair or, or like 89 cents a pair. Well, this ends up being obviously a lot less. And these ones I like that you can get in all white because he's been losing all of his socks, all of them. So I decided to get all white. And although I hate that they stain, I can write his name on the bottom of them in permanent marker. And then if he loses his socks and they find them, they know who they belong to. Because we have lost seven pairs of socks in two weeks, three weeks, and haven't found them. So, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this is a way to kind of keep some of his socks. So I bought three pairs of these, or three packs of these. And they're actually really nice, like, quality. Like, they have the thick soles, and yeah. Um, and I did get Bang Energy drinks. Whenever they have energy drinks, I'm really excited to try them. Um, just because energy drinks are really expensive at the gas station. So they got this Root Beer Blaze which is really, really good. Um, I drink one today. Um, they got this Bangster Berry, which I have not tried yet. And then I have drinking this a few times. Um, not this flavor though, Strawberry Citrus Sparkling Ice. Um, <coughs> these are usually a lot more than $1.25. Um, if you find them on a deal, they'll be like, well, they used to be three for five. Um, that's not the case anymore. They're two for five or three for six seven, three for six. I can't remember. Um, so either way you're getting them at a better deal regardless. Um, cause you can't find them for that price anymore. And then I did do some price comparison for you guys. So these Cheetos mac and cheese, um, I get these for my teenagers. Um, they like them a lot. I'm not as big of a fan. Um, but I just like the classic style mac and cheese. So, but they really like them. And these are $1.42 at our least expensive grocer that we have here in town. Um, so $1.25 obviously is less. We also have a snack packs there, which these are about a dollar, I can't remember, these were $1.37, so better price there, so I got those. Um, also got the gelatins, they're about the same price. Some of them were like $1.79 actually when I was looking, so either way, price obviously is better. Um, it may just be pennies, but if you're there and you can pick it up, it saves you that much more, depending on how much you're going to buy. Um, I've got three boys in my home, um, ranging from 19, well, so 19, 14, and, um, three. So all of them have big appetites in different ways. In fact, my oldest one actually has the smallest appetite. <laughs> so whatever snacky foods they like, if I can get them in a deal, I do. These my family likes. I think I've already I've already shown these to you guys before, but just the toastums, the strawberry and a cherry. Um, if they decide they want a, a snacky food, like a, they usually eat them as like a dessert, honestly, not as breakfast. Um, breakfast they usually like savory things or bagels or whatever. But um, and then I was happy about this because I eat a lot of olives and I eat a lot of um. Um, pickles and stuff like that, especially when I'm doing low carb. Um, and so olives have shockingly gone up in price. Um, they're, they're kind of pricey. So anyways, they had these for $1.25. So I grabbed a couple cans of those. I do always say check the expiration. These are all good until the 20 or until 2025. So quite a while. Um, and then I also found the stuffed olives, um, with minced pimentos. And these are actually really good. And I love these, so, um, but these are usually pretty expensive. I think I usually spend, there's a jar that's a little bit taller than this, um, that's usually $4, and then the bigger jar is even, like, more, so. So that definitely will save some, so I bought two jars of those. And then more of the snack packs. Um, so a couple flavors that we were able to get, um, we were able to get the strawberry kiwi. Um the butterscotch pudding um they did have just the regular strawberry snack pack and they had some other flavors that we really wouldn't probably eat but they were good for other people so just keep an eye out for those um and then this seasoning looked delicious so i'm really excited to try it but it's street tacos wake up your fresh fruits and vegetables and these packets have gotten kind of pricey in the um in my regular grocery store 
So um, I figured I would give that a try. Um, has no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And it just is perfect for, you know, basically street tacos. So um, shredded chicken, we could even do like beef. Yeah, so I'm excited to do that because I love taco. Taco Tuesday or taco every day, you know. Um, I have not tried this um, brand yet, but we do. I do like the ranch dressing mixes. Um, especially if I can mix it with sour cream or yogurt or something that um, is low carb while I'm trying to do, you know, follow a low carb for inflammation. Um, has no low carbs, no sugars. So, and then it's a three pack of Spice Trader brand. So I will definitely be giving this a try. These are good until May of 2024. So they last for quite a while. Um, and it's just a simple bag. Just a ranch dressing mix. So. I will report back to you guys on how that tastes. If any of you guys have tried it, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know if you liked it. Um, if you guys have tried this too, I'm very interested to hear. Um, I'm also always interested to hear what deals you guys have found on, especially groceries and stuff, because groceries are so expensive. And then I just bought a small bottle of this. So I honestly am not quite sure if this is a good price or not, but I love myself some street corn. Um, and so I figured this would be a better way for me to be able to make it at home. <laughs> um, I'm sure you guys probably know what it is, but it's where you do like the corn with butter and mayo. Um, not regular mayo, but Mexican mayo. But I use regular mayo on mine if I don't have the other stuff. Um, the cojita cheese, which I'll just use Parmesan if I don't have it. Um, and then the tahine, which when I didn't have the tahine, I'd use... Um, I have this Pampered Chef brand of um, lime chili seasoning that's really good. So I'd use that in place of it. But yeah, very yummy. And then lastly, I was really excited about these just because they actually remind me of my of my 90s childhood, um, maybe even 80s. Um, but my clips, I like to clip my hair up because it's really long and gets in the way sometimes. Um, so I found the goodie brand of these, which these are like four bucks at I think like Walmart or wherever else you might go. Um, just a black and a brown one. Simple. They did have their um, their brand. I can't remember what it is. Um, but they had their brand, but that's more of like the, it's not like the, like the hard plastic like this. It's more of the more breakable kind. And so these seem like they'd be a little more sturdy. So I was excited about those. So got those two, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really know what my favorite part of, of this would be. I'm very excited to get the Easter baskets put together and I can show you guys how those turn out once I get them all completed. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much I think, the total of what I got. So um, I did actually know I got some <laughs> I got some cough drops and some um, gum too, <laughs> but that's not here. So um, yeah, go ahead and comment below what your guys's favorite item was. Um, if you guys have found anything awesome, let me know too. I would love to keep an eye out for it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you guys soon.